Hi guys, we're going to be looking at today a little bit more with our significance testing, uh, type 1, type 2 errors, that kind of thing. But more specifically, we're going to be looking at situations where it's not a normal distribution. Okay, for example, this first one right here, we're testing a coin. Now the coin is the, the normal example of a binomial, right? Either it's heads or it's tails, yes or no. All right, so we're going to be tossing this coin 180 times. If the number of heads X is between 75 and 105, then we accept a hypothesis that the coin is fair. Otherwise, we reject it. So we're going to define the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis, of course, then it says that the coin is fair. If it's fair, then X should be 90, right? Fair enough. All right, our second our alternative hypothesis is that it's not fair which means that X is not 90 which means that it could be greater than or less than which means I am going to be using a two tail test okay looking at both ends which is demonstrated here in the problem where it says that I'm looking at the number of heads between 75 and 105 so um, right here I'm gonna go ahead and since I'm working on it, I'm gonna go ahead and draw what the curve should look like now it's not a normal distribution, but we do know that in certain situations, if NP is greater than five, or if NP in Q, is, and if NP is in Q is greater than five, then we can estimate this using a, a normal curve. So it'll look something like this, right? The distribution is similar. Whether it's exactly a normal curve or not is a different question. But as long as we have something like this, it should work. Okay, so I'm going to have my mean, which is hopefully at 90. And then I'm going to take everything from 75 all the way up to 105. Okay, anything outside of that is going to be considered uh, that we're going to reject our null hypothesis. Okay, so now here in letter B, it asks me to find a type 1 error. Now a type 1 error is that we reject the hypothesis which means we say that it's not fair when really it is fair okay now that would be if this were true if it were fair then this distribution right here is correct but if we get anything in this region we're going to reject it which means we actually made a mistake because we ended up with something out there. Now, II actually asks us to uh, find the probability of making a type 1 error. Well, the probability of that is just the probability of getting it in one of these two regions here. Now, I note that 75 is 15 less than 90 and 105 is 15 more, so it is symmetric. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and pull up my calculator. Now, being that it's binomial, I'm going to use binomial if at all possible. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to choose to um, do the binome CDF, all right? And with that binome CDF, then I'm going to put in that I've got 180 trials. I'm assuming the probability is fair, so 0.5. And the x value that I want is not 75 because if it's 75, I actually accept the hypothesis. So I only want to go up to 74. And so if I go up to 74, then I get 0.0103. Okay, so that means that this probably right here is 0.0103. The other one will be the same. Which means the probability of making a type 1 error is the sum of those, which then is 0.02, and then if we round up, it'll be 0.021. All right, now the question is what is the level of significance for this test? And we'll say that the level of significance then is about 2%. All right, so there we've got, and I guess this should be three digits for IB, so 0.0206. All right, then we go on to letter C. Suppose the decision rule is changed so that the probability of a type 1 error is 0.05. What is the new decision rule? Okay, well, if it's 0.05, then that just means that we need a larger area here, right? This is only 3% right now. So if I make it a 5%, that means that I'm going to move this in a little bit. Not a lot, mind you. It's not a lot. 2%, 3% more, I guess. And so this is going to move out so that I end up having 0.05. 
0.025 on this side and 0.025 on this side. Now at this point, I can't really do that using binomial because now that I have the probability, I can't go backwards with the binomial. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my calculator. And on the calculator, instead of doing binome this time, I'm gonna go ahead and use the inverse normal because that's one that I can put a probability into. So for the probability, I'm gonna put in 0.025. I'm going to put in the mean, which would be 90. And now the standard deviation, you're going to have to remember that the, standard, the, the variance for a binomial distribution is n times p times 1 minus p. Now that's the variance, so I'm, for the standard deviation here, I'm going to need the square root of n, so 180, times p, which is, we're still assuming that it's fair, and then times 0.5 for Q, one minus P. And if I paste that in, then I get 76.85. So that means that this value right here is 76.85. That means I want to accept anything from 77 all the way up to, well, that's 13 away, so all the way up to 103. Okay, so the new decision rule is going to be something along the lines of accept between 77 and 103, reject anything outside of that. Okay, now I got some middle schoolers coming out here and this is gonna be really interesting. So uh, let me just get through letter D really quick. So we move on to letter D. The coin is actually biased and the probability of obtaining a head with each coin toss is 0 0.65. Using the original decision rule, find the probability of a type two error. Okay, so let's go back. So I have my original line here, right, which had a 90, and it was 75 and 105. So now what they're saying is that in reality, the average is not gonna be 90. It's gonna be 0.65 times 180, which will be 117. So 117 is way over here, which means, yeah, it's, it's pretty biased so then we're gonna go like this okay so this is where it really is so the a type 2 error is that I accept the hypothesis so that means that we say that it's fair when it's really not so we say it's fair really it's not okay now we would say it's fair if it's anywhere between 75 and 105. Now, according to the real distribution, the only parts that would fit there would be this section right here from 105, right? That's within the area that we would have accepted. And then the curve goes way out here. And yeah, technically we should also include that piece way over here. Uh, sorry, only, only to right there, uh, my mistake. So we go to right there and that's it. So we don't go past the 75. All right, so we want anything in this region would be a chance, that, that would be something that we would get that value where we would accept it even though really we shouldn't have. So it should be a pretty small probability given that this is pretty far away. So in order to do that, again, um, you can do it in a couple of different ways but I'm gonna go ahead and use the binome CDF again because I do wanna go back to binome. It is a binomial distribution. So let's go down to binome CDF. So again, I'm gonna have 180 trials. The probability this time is 0.65. And this time for the X value, I want to know what is the probability of, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanna know what's the probability that it comes up here to 105. So I wanna include that 105, right? Because that 105 is something that I would accept even though I shouldn't have. Um, so all the way up to 105. And so we'll go 105 and we get our answer which is 0 0.03737, 0 0.03737, and we go back. 
so this right here is 0 0.03737 and really I shouldn't count this because if it was out here I would reject it and I should have rejected it because it's different but you'll notice that if I do that then what I end up getting if I just go second entry and I put in here instead of the 105 if I put in the uh, 74 the probability is going to be so small that it doesn't really affect my answer right it's so far away from my mean that the probability of actually getting that if the real number is 117 is is pretty negligible so therefore my final answer will be for the probability of a type 2 error will be 0 0.0374 Four, and that will be our answer. Alright, so there you go. There's one example. We'll look at a couple others in other videos. Ciao.